ladies and gentlemen, Dr. J. Greetings, I'm Dr. J, and welcome to my channel. Please make sure you click like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you know each time that we upload a new video. So today, I just want to quickly, uh, as I was getting ready to go down to the office, I just wanted to share something with you that I just saw on CNN. Uh, I don't watch CNN, but I do look at my phone on Google and see what's going on. So for those of you who have high blood pressure, uh, you can possibly remember me doing an episode on hawthorn leaf, hawthorn berry. Uh, well, here it is. Uh, according to CNN, blood pressure medication recalled over cancer risk concerns. This is not the first time. I remember they were talking about lisinopril. And lisinopril, what's interesting about that is that was the one blood pressure medication that they said worked very, very well for highly melanated Aboriginal people, AKA African Americans. But guess what? It was creating all kinds of problems with the body. Some people's faces were swelling up, their lips were swelling up, their throats were swelling up. And so all of a sudden, uh, what, be, what was once the best medication for the highly melanated has become a serious problem for the very people they taunt it's supposed to help. So here we have another one, which was created by Pfizer. And they've issued a recall on this particular uh, medicine that's under three names. Uh, so uh, it's uh, Acuretic and it's two generic versions distributed by Greenstone. It's, one is called Quinapril and hydro Hydrochlorothiazide tablets and Quinapril HCI tablets. They're subject to the recall. Uh, why? Because they increase the risk for uh, cancer. So it's voluntary, um, and they're saying that the that these pills contain higher levels of nitro. I can't say it. Nitro I am not. You know, I don't. I don't know how to pronounce some of these things. Okay, uh, but they also say there's no immediate risk to patients taking this medication. So my question is. Which is it? Uh, you know, I just I just want to bring to your attention that I am in no way, shape, or form saying that pharmaceuticals are all bad because they have saved a lot of lives and they have prolonged life and people are now living to be 100 years old. But they were living to be 100 year, years old in ancient days. I mean, the oldest person on record was Methuselah, but what do I know? The main thing is this, the underlying thing I want you to take from this is number one, our diet. Our diets are horrible. I was uh, looking at a, uh, someone who has a YouTube channel and they, everyone was an up in arms and cracking jokes because this person had made a statement as to what you should not be eating uh, in order to take care of your health. And everyone said, well, then you can't eat anything but air. And they're making jokes and what, you know, but what can we eat? And what that shows me is they don't want to let go of the foods that they're used to eating, which are comfort foods, which are really no good for you. I can't just talk about herbs. I have to talk about nutrition because the two go hand in hand. And uh, if you're an herbalist, you need to be a nutritionist. I mean, you need to learn a lot about food because food is medicine. And you need to know about the G-bombs. You know, the G-bombs are those greens, beans, mushrooms, onions, berries, and seeds. I mean, you know, everybody can't be vegan. And the problem with being vegan is oftentimes you eat so much starch because you're eating a lot of pastas and rice and grains. And that's not good for you either. If you're vegetarian, that's better. Uh, but there's different types of vegetarian. There's octo uh, vegetarianism. There, there's there's all these different types of eating, and I'm I'm I've been studying that, and I'm going to go into those as well as going. You know, it's not just going to be about herbs. It's going to be about nutrition because you got to do both. You can't take herbs and eat junk and expect them to do what you want them to do. It doesn't work that way. So 
I had to bring this up because I'm a person that, you know, has had high blood pressure. I still have it. But what I found is uh, because I've changed my diet and I, and I take herbs and I, I, I really take care of my body more now than I have in the last 10 years, all, all the medications that were, you know, take this, this, this. I looked, I'm like, dang, I take all this. I don't have to take it anymore. I've, it's been corrected, but I, and it wasn't easy for me. I love good food. It wasn't easy. And I was flying a lot, you know, for my job. I was always on a plane and flying all over the place. And you have to eat whatever you can get your hands on. And so I wasn't able to take care of my body then because I'm, my doctor had told me, I can't help you till you stop and get still because you're always flying, always gone, and it's not going to help. And when I finally... Before the Rona, it started to slow down where I wasn't flying as much. Then it was like, okay, now I can do something because now I can be still enough to do something about the weight and the health. And if you're type A like me and you're teaching at five institutions and you're running a business and you're doing this and you're doing that and you're running, what you're running is yourself in the ground. I'm here to tell you firsthand, running yourself in the ground. But if you really want quality of life, if you really, I think about how I felt then versus how I feel now. I remember not being able to go up and down the stairs, which is why, you know, uh, one of the reasons why the home that we had, I got, I had such problems with those steep stairs. My, my knees would hurt. They don't hurt anymore. You know, uh, just going up the stairs, I'd be out of breath. I run up and down the stairs like a teenager now. Uh, taking a walk took a lot out of me. Now I have to increase, you know, the 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 length of my walk and the, the you know taking the hills, climbing hills is no problem for me. So you have to work up to it. And no, I don't have a personal trainer, but I did have one for a short time before the Rona hit. So we are completely a total in control of our health. And if you take high blood pressure medicine, please take it because God forbid something happened and you and you have a stroke. But also watch that stress. Watch that stress. If you're doing too much, take some things off your plate. Delegate some of the work you have to do. Make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, your medical doctor, I'm sure, is telling you this information. If they're not, you know what? They have so many clients, patients, they can't tell everybody or they don't have time, or they're overworked themselves. Take a good hard look at your doctor. And you tell me, is your doctor the picture of health? Because I've had a few doctors and they were not the picture of health. They looked like they needed to take their own advice. So we're human beings, we're human, we're human. And you see pictures of these gurus or everyone's a guru and they're fit and they're small and they, and they have the perfect bod. You know what? That's great for marketing purposes, but that's not reality. The reality is wherever you are right now, you need to get healthy. And the other reality is, is that you need to, when, when, when you're taking, go in your medicine cabinet and look at the stuff you're taking and really research what's in it. So you have the knowledge. This is for educational purposes only. Let me know what you think in the comments. I just had to comment because Every time I turn around, there's a recall on something. But the Most High has something in the earth that he gave you before he even made you. It will not be recalled, but it must be respected because it too can hurt you if you don't know what you're doing. May the Most High bless you and keep you. Shalom.